This is the 2024 GMC Hummer EV 3X Omega Edition. And in today's Vehicle Visionary video, I'm going to give you the ultimate tour. The exterior color on this model is going to be called Neptune Blue Matte. It has a Lunar Horizon interior. I'll give you the look at that real fast. And we're gonna take a good close look at everything here shortly and show you how everything looks, what all is here. If you want to come into Morgan Buick GMC and buy this Hummer EV, it is for sale right now, check out the link in the description of the video. As we look at the front end, you're gonna have full E LED lighting everywhere you look. You can see the Hummer name right there in the center. And we're going to take a look inside later on here at Southern Automation Incorporated where I'm filming today's video. They are the sponsor of today's video. They handle production equipment and conveyor lines, all that kind of stuff. Check out the link down in the description of the video if that's something you need. And you can see right here that the blinker, a lot of the time I talk about how the flickering effect or kind of this in motion effect is not actually happening. In this case, it actually is. That blinker is actually doing in real time what you think it is. Now that flickering effect is more right here with the LED lighting where that Hummer is located. Plenty of lighting that's gonna help you to see after dark on a truly off-road capable vehicle. Very, very strong recovery hooks, tow hooks as sometimes they're referred to, either is correct. Skid plates underneath the vehicle to help keep it nice and safe when you're off-roading. You do have the adaptive air ride suspension and a very aggressive look. Now, before we get to the rear of the vehicle, I did want to give you a quick look at what's going on with shocks and suspension, everything that at least I can show you here with the front of the vehicle. And then there's your Hummer EV logo right there. Power adjustable side view mirrors, they're heated, they're power folding. You're going to have your blind spot monitoring built in right there. And on all four door handles, I like the fact that you have passive entry. Body color door handles, by the way, but that passive entry is very helpful because of the fact that you can come to the rear doors and unlock all four doors. Also, your steps right here, this thing sits pretty high off the ground. Those are going to come in nice and handy, as will what you see right here. Grab handles, that's a good thing. They're not only at the front doors, also at the rear. Something I really like to see. And work our way around to the rear. There's that spare tire I was telling you about. So nice to see that with an EV. Not very common, but it is here. LED tail lights that still look like they should be on a Hummer. That's always a good thing. And we have another recovery hook back here on the rear. You can get a workout moving that thing back and forth because it is strong. And where is your charge port located? Well, it's located right here on the driver's side. Very easy to gain access to and you have your different charge port options. If you're gonna use a DC fast charger, you're set for that. Speaking of that, let's talk a little bit more about numbers. Horsepower comes in at 830, and the torque, a very impressive 11,500 pounds feet. And you're looking at about eight hours to get to 100% on your charge capacity with a level two charger. If you go with a DC fast charger, you can get to 100% in as little as 12 minutes. Here is your remote for this Hummer EV. It looks basically like the same remote for any other GMC vehicle out there as far as modern day models go, more current models, I should say, except for that Hummer logo on the back. Now, I'm going to open the front trunk. You'll see what happened. I just pushed that button twice. Now, to open it, you just push the button twice and it opens. It does take a second or two for everything to start to happen and then you're good to go. It opens by itself. And you'll find some lighting in here. That's nice to have right there, especially after dark. Just helps to illuminate this area nicely. And we're looking at a total of roughly 11 cubic feet. Now, one little trick to closing the front trunk is you have to hold that button down because if you let go of it, then it stops. Just in case you were curious about that, that's the situation with that. Now it's gonna go back up. I'm gonna go ahead and close it for you this time and just hold the button down. That's just the way it is. Don't know why, not a big deal, but just something to be aware of if this is something you plan to buy. And this model is obviously all wheel drive. And the tire and wheel size on this model is going to be 305 on the width. Obviously all terrain tires, very wide, and a 70 series sidewall. 
wrapped around the 18 inch wheels. And something that I did want to show here, nothing unusual, but in case you were wondering, the button right here is what you're going to push to fold in those power folding side view mirrors. Cargo capacity comes in at 31 and a half to 89.8 cubic feet. Obviously you have a power open and power closed tailgate. And some of the best news, something you don't see often with an EV is a spare tire. Nice to know you have a full size spare here with the 18 inch wheel. So that really helps things out a lot. And we'll also have the lunar map back here. Kind of hard to see because of the angle of the sun, but see a little bit of it at least. Hopefully it's all showing up. And underneath the floor is going to be a reasonable amount of additional cargo space. That's always nice to see. If you do need to change a tire, this is where you need to come right here. In fact, I'm just gonna take that whole panel off right there. Well, I say I am, there we go. And there are the tools you need to change your tire. I'll put that back on two-handed in just a minute. And to lower your rear seats and maximize cargo capacity, we just hold these buttons down. That drops those down. Now they are not going to power up. You'll have to put those back up manually. And here's a good look at the sunroof panels more of what they are. They are all removable, all four of them. Kind of an interesting thing, have some tint on there to help alleviate having so much sun come into the interior because you definitely need to take advantage, especially here in Northwest Louisiana, of the ventilated seats this time of the year because it is getting warm. And we'll find a little bit of additional space right here for storage as well. There is a lot of space back here. And in case you're wondering, this back door works the same way as the front trunk in that you have to hold the button down for it to close. If you let go of that button, it's going to stop moving. But not a big deal, just something you have to just remember, but it's not a big problem. And something else you'll notice here on the rear is going to be the hitch receiver. This H3 can tow up to a maximum of 7,500 pounds. And as we take a look into the back seat area, you'll find the frameless windows. Obviously, that's going to be at all four doors. Nice, large armrests, plenty of room here. I like the grab handle that makes it easy to reach out here and grab that handle and close the door. A large door bin right here. There's a bottle holder up here, so you have all this space free right here. That makes things nice and easy. There's one of your speaker covers. And if you're curious to know, yes, these rear seats do have some recline built into them. Hopefully that's showing up appropriately on the screen. And a better look at your panels with the roof right there that I was telling you about earlier that are removable. There's one of the releases right there to take care of that. Another one back here, pretty easy to figure out. We're gonna have rear seat pockets on the back of both seats. And once again, I really like the fact that we have those grab handles right there to make getting in and out, very easy. Three zones of climate control. You can control everything back here for the third zone of climate control. The, you're gonna have the USB options right here, the two air conditioning vents, and down here on the bottom, we'll also find a power outlet. Let me see if I can open that for you so you can see it. There we go, the household power outlet available as well. Quite a few options for connectivity throughout the interior and then we'll fold down that center armrest with the cup holders built in. And it's a little bit harder from this angle to show you all the suspension pieces and everything back here on the rear. But since I showed you on the front, I thought it would be a good idea to show you everything here on the rear as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the driver's side door. As I showed you earlier, there's the button for folding those power folding side view mirrors. You do have seat memory here on the driver's side, a couple of different settings for that and everything else you'd expect to find here. And as is normal with most vehicles, you're gonna have a larger door bin here with the front doors than you do with the rear. As you can see right here, you're gonna have the H logos right there for the Hummer with your door sill, and then the removable carpet inserts. You take it off road, people's feet are getting dirty. Well, that's a good thing to have. And it's nice to have the pass-through right here, offering a little bit more space and storage, something that I think is very wisely used with this model. There is your Hummer EV logo as part of these seats. And I'm going to reach in here and pull myself on in and we'll see how everything looks when you get started. As far as the graphics go, pretty nice looking. I hope that's showing up, something a little unusual. It's not the same thing as what you see with all GMC vehicles. 
will start the vehicle up and boy am I glad to do that to turn the air on I will turn the fan speed down and here's something interesting when you change the fan speed the fan actually turns so I think that's pretty interesting not something you normally see on most vehicles just something that I thought was interesting a little bit out of the ordinary that you might want to know about and for those of you who are saying okay Tom if I came in to buy this Hummer EV at Mike Morgan Buick GMC what am I going to pay $140,295 is what the sticker is for this Omega edition let's see what else you get for the price beyond what I've already shown you here are your steering wheel mounted controls for your adaptive cruise control and for everything to do here with going through different information on the dashboard depending on what you want to see you can even change the display layout right here if you want to so all you do is push in on this selector right here and then you can change to different looks there's quite a bit going on here depending on what you want to see and it will keep all of that over there so you can see the changes that are being made and change to something else if you want to pretty easy to deal with I'm gonna scroll down one more time to off-road and just show you what's here you might as well look at all of it while we're here I promise I'm not gonna do everything but just something to show you what's going on now I'm gonna go back up here to clean and we'll just stick with that in fact there was lunar right there I don't think I showed you that so maybe we'll stick with lunar let's see here okay that's where it was earlier but you can see how the dash looks there are other changes you can make this besides that you can do the left side or info or units or whatever it is you need to do you can take advantage of all of that the hunt and peck method works really well here that's for sure you'll control the headlight functionality right here you can turn those on you can set them to auto whatever you want to do you also have the turn signal indicators the blinkers right there as well something to help you out and mainly help people around you out to know what's going on with the vehicle and over here the controls for your wipers We'll also have the rear view camera mirror. Now you can set that up as a conventional rear view mirror, or if you want to use that feature right there with the camera, you can do that too. And a very nice look with a very large infotainment screen, easy to deal with. In fact, if you want to know what's going on with energy, we'll just go in there and take a quick look at that. You can see what's going on, charge now, charge later, scheduled charge, you can see we're at 80% right now pretty easy to deal with again that hunt and peck method is super useful just go through and figure it out no big deal and you'll have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto you will also have Google Assistant you can wirelessly pair your smartphone and how about your cameras because there are a lot of different views here as far as this model goes in fact I don't think there is a front camera washer so in case you were curious about that no there is not but one thing let me show you this is you do have three wipers because you have such a large windshield so wide that well it needs those we'll take a look at the rest of our views there's your side view camera mirrors nothing out of the ordinary for GMC as far as that goes but you do have the underbody view so you have a couple of different options here you can see front or rear or you can see both at the same time that's pretty neat I really like what's going on there and when you go into crab walk mode it's automatically going to bring those up we'll also take a look at some of our features right here as far as the air conditioning goes you're going to control everything right here it's nice to know they're physical buttons instead of being in the infotainment screen as some competitors are a lot of EVs are heated steering wheel is right here I dare not turn that on today here is your ventilated seats that's nice to know that that's there because I need that today down here we're gonna find the wireless charging pad and a couple of USB options our cup holders and our shifter right here that seems very appropriate here I think for the Hummer EV some people don't like this similar shifter to this that is in some of the trucks so yeah, what are your thoughts on that I'm curious to know and how about our driving modes well let's go through those driving modes real quick here so we're gonna see what comes up on the screen we'll just run through that give it just a second here so here we go my mode you can customize a lot of different things there's your off-road mode didn't mean for that to rhyme by the way terrain mode tow haul mode is also there as your EV 
jumps onto the screen, kind of bursts onto the screen, so to speak, right there. Pretty cool how that works. And there's normal mode if there is such a thing with this model. And what's very interesting is you notice, let me go back to that, how the front end is kind of rising up a little bit right there. When you drop the power pedal on this thing, that's literally what it does. Now, if you want to go into crab walk mode, you're going to hold this area down and just watch your screen. You'll see what happens. Here we go. There we go. And once you have that on there, guess what? It shows you what's going on with the vehicle as far as that goes. And it gives you the most aggressive four-wheel steering capabilities that you can possibly have. A very tight turning radius. There are a few different modes that you can go into and use if you want to. You can have regular, you can have your rear wheel steering, or you can use crab walk. There's a lot going on here, that's for sure. Pretty easy to deal with. And a nice large center console, a little bit of space right here, and inside of the center console is a ton of space. Don't let that removable tray fool you because there is more space here. You also have a 12 volt power outlet. Let me put that tray down so I can open that for you and show you what's there. That doesn't stay open, I guess, unless you put something in there. And there's also a light right here for after dark, that's going to help out a lot. And real quick, how about your upper console? For those of you who are wondering about that, I'll give you a quick look at what's on here. And if you want to program three different garage doors for your garage door openers, you can do that right here on the visor. And for those who want a quick tour, I'm gonna to try not to spend too much time on this, but a little bit more on your infotainment screen. So let's go into off-road right here so you can get a lot of information about what's going on with the vehicle as you can see right here, and some really nice graphics. Just hit the X right there to go back to the previous screen just to show you what else is here. There are your camera views again. Go right here. As I told you earlier in the video, the hunt and peck method will do you well with all of this. And your settings, nothing out of the ordinary for GMC connections, vehicle, apps and permissions, display, sounds, all of that's going to be here. Let's go in the vehicle and take a look at a couple of things just so you can see what's here. You can turn on buckle to drive, rear seat reminder. You do have Super Cruise here, by the way, semi-autonomous driving, and that's very easy to deal with. Here's how you activate that, just pushing that button right there. And if you need to do anything differently, you, it'll tell you on the screen right there. So there's Super Cruise drive mode customization. You can do that. And how about some of our safety features? Let's see what all is here. Alert type automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking, adaptive cruise go notifier, and lane change alert. You can turn those on and off if you want to. Park assist with braking, park assist tow bar, rear cross traffic alert, and rear pedestrian alert. I could probably do an entire video. If you'd like to see a full video on just this infotainment screen, tell me down in the comment section and I'll make that happen for you. And I know it's not the perfect setting, but a little bit darker atmosphere so I can show you some of the exterior lighting here in this area. Headlights, fog lights, daytime running lights, all that good stuff that is here. And those cab lights up there on the top, that's actually DOT required because of the size of the vehicle. So it's not really there for decorational purposes. And you can see our tail lights here as well. We're gonna have one blinker on just so we can show you how things look. And just so you can see some of the lighting here, that flickering effect has to do with my camera. It's not really happening in real time, but just so you can see a little bit of what it looks like in the dark here as far as some of these camera views go in case you were curious to see how everything looks. Okay, here we go on the test drive, and I wanted to make sure I cover a couple of things here that I didn't mention earlier. Number one, there are beadlock wheels that come with this Omega Edition package that this Hummer has, and so that hadn't been installed yet. Those are dealer installed. You also have a power adjustable steering wheel. It's tilt and telescopically adjustable. Now, unfortunately, at the moment, I can't hit the power pedal and we'll see how it goes. You're gonna hear a few things because obviously we're out here on the road with very minimal noise compared to what we would normally have, but definitely have a surprisingly smooth ride quality. Well, maybe not surprisingly because you do have the air ride adaptive suspension. That's going to be very helpful in a lot of ways as far as that goes. 
But I'll tell you one thing, I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting up the road here and being able to step on the power pedal a little bit for you. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but this Hummer EV does everything within its power to pick the front end up. If it wasn't all wheel drive, it would probably go ahead and spin the tires, especially if it was back rear wheel drive. It's very, very interesting to drive. And if you drive and use crab walk mode, the turning radius is just crazy how tight it is and what you can do. So there's a lot of really neat features here. One thing that is interesting, if you've never used this rear view camera mirror, that is going to take some getting used to. It's not something that you just jump into and go down the road and it's no problem. Well, I say that, but maybe for some people it wouldn't be. I know for me, the first time I ever used something that had or drove something that had this rear view camera mirror in it, it was a little bit of an adjustment. That was actually a Cadillac Escalade back in 2019 for those who are saying, well, what was it, Tom? But one thing that's interesting here is how easy it is to see out of these windows. I like the angle because it does make it easy to see out of. You can obviously set the seat however you want to, to be very comfortable. And I guarantee you, even though I'm five foot 10, somebody well in excess of six feet tall could easily adjust this seat and the steering wheel, everything to be very, very comfortable. So let's see here. We have a little bit of space here to jump on the pedal. I don't know if you can tell, but it really tries to hike the front end up. It's pretty amazing to step on the pedal in this thing. Probably not what you would expect, but with so much horsepower and torque, even though this is an extremely heavy vehicle, it kind of balances itself out that way. So it's, it's very interesting. Probably a surprise to a lot of people. It's not quite the neck snapping performance of some EVs that I've driven, but you have to consider how much weight you're pulling, but still very impressive. And something else that is always the case with any GMC vehicle, at least modern day, I should say, with the infotainment screens and all the technology that's here, is the fact that it's so easy to learn and use. It may look complicated, it may look daunting, but it really isn't. It does a really nice job of just being simplified. Like I say, I like to use the terminology hunt and peck. That means you can just play around with it and figure out what's going on. You don't even have to watch tutorials on YouTube to figure it out. That's how I've done it over the years is just learning. But you have those tutorials there if you need them. That way you can go back and watch as many times as you need to. Don't feel ashamed of that. That's okay if you need to do it that way. It's not a big deal. But it's nice to know that that option is there too if you need it. So tell me what you think about the 2024 GMC Hummer EV 3X Omega Edition. Besides being a mouthful to say, what do you think? If you could say that five times fast in a video, I'll send you a free vehicle visionary t-shirt. So tell me what your thoughts are. I do want to say a special thanks to my friends at the dealership. If you happen to come in to buy this model, tell whoever you talk to at Morgan GMC that you, talk, that you saw my video and that's what brought you into the dealership. If you enjoyed this video, I would sure appreciate you hitting the like button. I do appreciate all of you for taking the time to watch. And if you haven't subscribed just yet, make sure to do so. If you'd like to learn about additional vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now, and I'll see you there.